Hey there, Julian here, and I'm going to show you how to use the Tilt.js plugin in Div Hunt. So yeah, let's make some things Tilt. We are going to go with this image, which is in a loop, so it's also going to apply to the other images. The first thing that we're going to want to do is go over here and hit Settings, then go to Browse Plugins, and click Install on Tilt.js. I already have it. You're just going to need to do one click, and then once you've done that, you're going to go back, and it'll take a second, and then it's just going to refresh, and you will be good to go. So. From there, what you're gonna to wanna to do is you are gonna to wanna to click the image and you're probably better off doing the parent element. It depends, but in this case, that is what I'm gonna do. So let's select card, let's go over here to content, let's go to transform and let's select tilt. So now that we have that, let's zoom in a little bit and we can see that it is already tilting. This is good to go for you, then you're done. But we do have some options, so I'm gonna go over those right now. Max tilt, well, tells you what the maximum amount that you can tilt it is. So let's go ahead and set this to 50. And it's quite a bit more significant. I think that's a little bit too much, so let's make this 30. So it's noticeable, but not crazy. And there we go, I like that. So perspective, I guess it's a bit hard to explain. I will show you what perspective does. If I set this to a low number, such as 100, it is... A little bit crazy. Uh, you may want this, but I do not. And then if we go ahead and set this to something like 10,000, it is going to do almost nothing. So typically you're gonna wanna keep this set at around 1,000 for this nice effect right here. Then we have scale. So scale will just determine how big the element is going to grow when you're hovering over it. With this, you're not gonna wanna go too crazy. Um, I would say, I'm not sure what your use case is. Because, for example, if I just change this from 1 to 2, well, that, that happens. Um, I would say if you do want it to grow, 1.1 is probably a much more reasonable number. Um, eh, let's, let's keep it like this for now. So, we have that speed, just determines how fast this will go. So, if I go and set it to 100, for example, this is all very, very fast, as you can see. Then, if I set it to something like 10,000... It is very slow. So we don't want that. Let's go ahead and set this back to a thousand. Pretty reasonable there, not too fast, not too slow. Then we have disable axis. So this will allow you to stop the tilt from happening either vertically or horizontally. As you can see here, it's only happening horizontally, like so. Set it to Y. It's gonna only happen vertically. So wherever my mouse is placed vertically on this element, I don't want that in this case, so let's set it to none. Then reset. So if you set reset to false, what's gonna happen is this. When you hover out, it's going to stay at the position that it was last hovered in on. And when you have a bunch of images like that, it will start to look a little bit ridiculous. You may want that. I'm gonna set reset to true here so that people can only really do one at a time. So there we go, that's looking pretty good. And then glare. So this is going to set the glare. Uh, you could disable it or you could enable it and then you have a value here that you can set. Zero being the lowest, so there will be no glare whatsoever. 100 being the highest and it looks a little bit bright, let's say, as you can see. So if we want it to be noticeable, but maybe not so crazy, then we can set it to something like 50 and then we have that nice glare effect. So that's it. Now let's see how it looks on the live site. Of course, it will look the same as it does in the builder. And there we go. Now we have that working. Like I said, it's in a loop, so it is applied to all of these. Nice little effect going on here. Beautiful. And yeah, that's about it. So hope you enjoy, and I'll talk to you soon.